All right, this is Calibos, and we are playing Enigmatica 2. So, um, I know, I know, I'm back doing astral sorcery things, and I am attempting to, uh, oh, come on, we've got a glow, no, it's illumination. I am attempting to... Uh, to do a ritual to make the telescope observatory. We need some of this. Um, uh, and so we are... Uh, basically following the instructions. Where does it want stuff? Oh, that's not right. So... Uh, I had all the stuff out, but I, uh, I put it back because I was frustrated because it wasn't working. But then I shut the entire thing down, and now it works. So I, I don't know. There it is. One of those. One of those. One of those. And it should be the last one of these. So everything is set up. That is, uh, if I look into the altar, I don't want to mess with it right now because I'm afraid if I touch it, it will, it will fail. But you'll notice the uh, the marks on the ground. I have an attuned crystal. There we go. I have an attuned crystal for uh, Lucerna, which, and I have the design out here. Um, you'll notice that I have I have added this to add more power to the ritual, and I was thinking of adding another one just for looks. But I went over here and I set this up, and uh, uh, I just popped the dropped the crystal in there, and it attuned it for me. That was that. And there's a bunch of crafting, all of which you have seen before. I put this up thinking that it would help, but it doesn't actually help, so it doesn't matter. So these uh, these are basically uh, power boosting relays. Um, and they are unnecessary to to this device, the infusions. But we're gonna come over here. You'll notice. I think I mentioned this before. We have uh, a bunch of. Oh, there's another. Uh, so shooting star. We're just gonna follow this one. I actually recorded a brief segment about shooting stars. You know, uh, let's see if we can get under it. I'm just curious. Let's see if it hurts me. Come to me. Uh, let's do this. <laughs> right next to the meteor. That's funny. Boom. Alright, so that gives us the... The shining case. A little bit of redstone and stuff, apparently. But shining case is kind of like a loot chest. And we have a lucent scroll. And we now have potion effects from this. Hi guys. Um, is this not which direction were we supposed to go? Uh 
this way. There we are, and then we'll just kind of cruise right past it. So if I pull out my Astral Sorcery book, which I am carrying around, uh, uh, knowledge. So we have potion effects. Uh, that's weird because I, I had another one. Either way. So break the telescope, throw down for our observatory, which, wow, that looks really cool, actually. Uh, observatory is bigger than the telescope. And wow, that's, that's fancy. Uh, this is going to be problematic for me because, oh, oh, wait, 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 what is that? Um, here I'm going to try and pull up the, uh, there we go, uh, constellations. So what does this look like? This looks like, I'm set night. Time at 1,000. All right, let's do this again. Whoa, I'm, I'm actually in it. Uh-oh. How do I... Okay, so... I'm kind of mousing around, and... Uh, much like a regular telescope, down is up, up is down. So there's this. So I've hit shift, and that locks it. I'm trying to figure out which which one of these it could be. Uh, I'm not, like I said, I'm not very good at constellations. You, it took me an embarrassing amount of time to get the other ones. So is this one, oh, uh-oh, I lost it. I, I was holding shift, maybe I don't need to keep holding shift. Okay, so shift right click does that. Come on. Want to, he wants to do the thing. So I have a guess. I think it's this one. All right, so we now have another one. So this would be, according to the, the picture I'm looking at, Gelu, Gelu, Jello. Now some of these, it looks like they're only visible during certain celestial events, like uh, uh, Pelotrio and Hologrium. Horologium are only, they have little symbols on them, so they might only be able to be visible during um, um, new moons or full moons. Uh, Horologium it kind of looks like it's only visible like during an eclipse of some sort. Also, you'll notice that those are blue and the other one is purple. So, um, so let's 
let's just go all the way around and all right so I don't know uh, how to know how many I mean I know how many there are but I don't know how many are like how to find more of them so let's leave that so I've got a bunch of scrolls in here. Uh, nothing here. So it kind of looks like I've got one there and I've got one there. But attunement, radiance, constellations. Okay, so now it shows the rest of them. Ultera. Ulteria? Vorix. Uh, Alcara. Yeah. So there are there are more of them than I have discovered. Uh, the trick is wow! It just got really dark. Oh, because it's freaking snowing. Snow, you need to stop now. Thank you. So I saw this great thing. Um, I was looking around on YouTube for more help with astral sorcery because there's a lot of astral sorcery. And uh, I saw someone had done a ritual for an infinite mind, much like the orchid from Batania. Uh, using builders. So that design ought to be possible in this mod pack. But I'm not sure that I, I really have the knowledge to try it. So this is just kind of me telling you that there's there's a lot more that you can do with it than I am presently capable of doing. I don't see any more. So, just kind of oh, I wonder so if I right click, I'm still in the seat. of significance. I don't know. I feel like I've gone all the way around and I'm not seeing any extras. Alright, well. But we, we now have the observatory. Uh, everything is, is slightly better and brighter. Um, just thought you should see that. And now back to our regularly scheduled tragedy of bees. Uh, bees are not really a tragedy. Probably. But uh, I have been I have been looking left, right, and center for bees and bee related things. Um do we have terror steel on us? Terror steel. Nope. Okay, we don't care about that. Uh, we don't care about that. That's fine. That's fine. So I've been looking left, right, and center for bee-related things. 
Uh, while I was looking around, it happened to go nighttime, and I saw the uh, I saw a shooting star, and I recorded that. And so I will cut that in right here if I can. If you see it, I've successfully cut it in. If you don't, then I haven't. So here we go. So I thought you should see this. That is a shooting star from Astral Sorcery. Um, I was just thinking around trying to make an observatory when I looked up and noticed it. You'll notice that I have a, a couple more, uh, a couple more constellations in the sky. I've been playing with constellations. So. We're just going to follow it down because I understand that they give you things. I'm busy guys, I'm trying to trying to do a thing. There we go. So let's uh, let's chuck some of this in here. Ah, I'm busy. I said that. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I've been playing with constellations, and uh, I have that. So I figured you ought to see this. I don't know what the the casing is before. Loosen scroll. Lucerna corrupted ritual. And that's Lucerna there. Uh, Starlight field. I wonder if it was just aiming for... I don't know what that means. Uh, anyway, um, I'm also lost. So we are here. We need to go west. That way. There we go. You'll notice that I have Lucerna up, um, and I also have my telescope here, and I have all of the things. Um, I just pretty much kept clicking randomly until I got them. But uh, I just attuned a crystal. Uh, by holding the scroll, the Lucerna scroll, it lights up the spots. I put down the uh, the relays, and I attuned a crystal because I'm trying. I need to have an attuned crystal for the ritual here, and I think that I'm kind of short on power. So, oh, is that not linked? Looks linked. Looks linked. That one looks linked.
So I am not sure why, but this ritual hasn't worked yet. Uh, maybe I need more power, but I figured you ought to see the shooting star and the results thereof. That's the first one I've seen. And uh, now back to your regularly scheduled programs. Well, hopefully I managed. We'll find out. We'll find out. I mean, technically, I will know before you do. Oh, there's Skystone. It's a baby chest. But, uh, I mean, you'll know before end of episode me. So, uh, we're still, we're still collecting. We're still collecting bees. Um, I just wanted some from the cold environment. Uh, and you can see that they're not uncommon. I mean, bees are, are really everywhere. Um, oh, that's that's cool. It's from uh, Embers. I mean, you saw that, but... I have a friend who's very excited about rabbits. So, this is us having done a little bit of collecting. So let's let's grab this one and then that one over there, and then we'll uh, we'll head back and start working our way through actual bees, not just collecting bees. Also, a couple of my. Uh, my villagers have changed because there was another invasion um, and people died. It was tragic. They had a day off. So that's still working fine. Um, pressure, 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 pressure. Cactus, cactus, cactus. So this is roofed forest, roofed forest over there, and this is marsh. So that can be important based on what kind of bees you're going to be doing. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we have plenty of room here, so we're gonna do bees over here. Anti-gravity trees are the best. So we have a bunch of stuff. Uh, saplings, huh? It runs on honey. So forestry. A lot of the stuff in forestry that requires bees, you know, has bee in the name. So we need a we need a lot of stuff. I don't even know where to start with bees anymore. So let's look into forestry. You can tell that there are one or two different kinds of bees. Um, it also goes into sapling breeding, which I don't really care about. Honestly, I only care about bees as much as it, uh, you know, leads us to where we need to go. Oh, stamps. Farms. Now the farms and forestry are actually pretty decent. 
So some of the first things to do with forestry, let's see what the forestry mod, if there is a forestry quest book in here. Okay, centrifuge. Uh, so they don't really go into it. We do have an apiary because clearly we, we needed one for the quest. Apiary. So if I place this down, uh, it tells you uh, uh, let's see if we get these. So we'll take the any forestry bee, you know, bees from forests besides those. Weird. I guess we can try it with uh, one of the other ones. What is this one? This one's red. Do we have a red one? Meadows Hive. Meadows Princess. Yeah, see what I mean about having forest ones versus meadows one versus, yeah. But let's, uh, let's journey back. The meadows one is most likely to be okay with forests. Uh, and now we fell in the ocean water, or the wizard water. see Meadows Hive. Why are there random ladders out here? Oh, that's a bad sign. Uh, random ladders may mean that we are having corruption issues. We'll, we'll try to move on with that. So, we have a Meadows Princess and a Meadows Drone. And because it's okay. Uh, it would like flowers. So let's go ahead and get some flowers. And I mean, it's just like bees in real life, you have to feed them, and this is how. So. Drone. So if we put a drone in here, you'll notice that the bar is going down, and we now have like little red bees flying around everywhere. So uh, this tells you what kind of climate is around and different bee types need different climates I like how they're little red bees so I mean if we make some more of the apiaries uh, forestry so if we make more of the apiaries we can we can effectively um, kind of start working through some of the beads, the bees. Uh, there are bee houses, you know, apiary chests, which hold, you know, all of your apiary supplies. You have, see, I knew that there was a forest hive. Um, uh, modest hive, tropical hive, ender hive, wintry hive, marshy hive. Oh, let's go to the end really quick while we're waiting for this. It should be chunk loaded. Um, let's see. And... Oh, 
Let's see if we can find ourselves a, an end hive. End hive. So we need a scoop. Where's my, uh, there it is. Oh, why am I carrying that around? Crystallized obsidian. What are the uses for that? Uh, maybe purely decorative. Uh, it's just decorative. It's useless. Perfect. So this gives us... Um, this gives us a couple of bees from the end, which I don't know if that's useful or not. All right, so we're at 26 minutes. You've seen like the start of bees. I'm going to take a second and, and like do a little bit more research if I can to figure out where we want to go or where we need to go from here. Oh, look, we've leveled up in the astral sorcery thing. Um, all in there. Tinder drones, Meadows Princess. Honeycomb. So there is the book. The book. Oh, oh. So we want to go to perks. You know we have a one available point. I have been kind of generally keeping up with this. We now have uh, that. So we should just be able to to go all the way around and get now the epiphany perks without having to go anywhere. Maybe. I have no idea. But, yep, I'd like to thank everybody for coming. It was great. I'm glad you did. Um, if you know anything about bees, please, by all means, uh, helpfully comment and post. Um, I, I know a little bit about bees. I've done it in the past. But quite frankly, I have done not very much of it in the past. And so... You know, all the help I can get, I could use. I mean, even if I am going to be re um, recording ahead, which I try to do, you know, clarification and clarity and help are always, always, always appreciated. Oh, how did we miss that? Um, So, yep. Uh, thanks for coming, guys. You have a great night.